Good day. How are you? This is Lesson 11, Saxon Course 2. Our concept today is combining and separating problems. And um, we have done some of these before, so uh, I'm just going to kind of go over quickly some of the types of problems that we do under this umbrella of combining and separating. Uh, one that we do uh, are formula problems. We have a rule that we use and we use it every time for instance to find area. Um, perimeter is another one where we add all the sides together and then we have uh, a rule to do that and you just add them all. Combining problems have an addition theme. Okay, uh, Combining means to I had three eggs and you had four eggs so together we have seven eggs. Um, I have three dozen oranges you have two dozen oranges so together we have five dozen oranges. Um, the way you look at a combining problem is you look at the whole idea of sum plus some more equals the total. That's combining you're adding it together. Um, there are also separating problems and separating problems imply subtraction and so a separating problem might be um, I had 16 cookies and my brother ate 7 cookies. How many cookies do I have left? I would have 9 cookies left. Um, you have something that you have a beginning amount here. You take away, it's your subtraction sign, you take away something and it equals the a remaining amount. Now these kind of problems are, are ones that we do all the time. The hardest part about them is that we have to try to figure out what the plot is of a word problem so that we can put it in this format. And I think that's probably going to be the biggest challenge that you all face is trying to be able to figure out, well, what is the plot of the problem? I'm going to give you just a couple of example problems. Uh, the book has some really good ones, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this. But, for instance, Susan has $13 and Roberto has 10 Together, how much do they have? Together is your word, um, and you're going to combine. You're going to combine $13 plus $10, and that's going to give you a total amount of $23. It's mostly looking for the wordage in the, or the plot in the word problem. Okay, here's one that's a little bit different. It's also a combining problem. If Sonia earns six fifty at the fair and her friend Roger combined his earning za, sorry, with yours for a total of ten twenty, then how much did Roger earn? Well, we've got a missing amount here, but it could still be a combining problem. The problem could be written like this, okay? You have Roger with 650, or excuse me, Sonia with 650, Roger we don't know, and together they earn 1020. Now most of us to solve this problem would probably subtract, which is what I have over here, and if you do subtract, you end up with $3.70, which kind of makes sense. Okay. Now some people would say, well, I'm just going to subtract to begin with, and that that could probably work. I mean, that wouldn't be a big, big deal. You could do that. Um, it's just that it writes out kind of nice as a as a combination problem. Now, we have another one here, and I have it already written out. I kind of like it. It's kind of a neat problem. Uh, Joni bakes some cookies. While she went to the store, Caleb ate 17 cookies. When she returned, there were 27 cookies left. How many cookies did she bake? Okay, so she baked a certain amount. Some of them went away, which of course Caleb ate them. And then we know what remains. It remains, remains 27 cookies. So you could write it like this. Okay, you have a beginning amount, which we don't know. Okay, that's the amount that she baked. We have a subtraction, take away. Some went away. 17 of them, in fact, and when those 17 went away, there were 27 left over. That's what remains, okay? Now, if we look at this to solve it, if it's a subtraction problem, we know that we kind of use the opposite operation to solve it. 
So we would actually, instead of subtracting here, we're going to add 17 because what we're really thinking is what number minus 17 equals 27. So 27 plus 17 should equal that number. And in fact, it does. So today we've talked about combining and separating type problems. I hope this helped you a whole lot. If you have more questions, please ask them in class. Have a great day.